Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB Tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the fifth part of a series of tutorials on MATLAB basics. In this tutorial, we will learn functions in MATLAB. MATLAB has two categories of functions. First are the built-in functions which are already present in MATLAB. You just need to find them and put it in your program or your command window. And second are user-defined functions which are created by you. So let us begin with built-in functions. So MATLAB has many built-in functions. Some of them are square root, cosine, sine, tan, log, exponential and tan inverse. It also has some more specialized mathematical functions such as gamma functions or Bessel functions. MATLAB also has several built-in constants including pi and i which is a complex number, square root of minus 1 and also infinity. Let me give you some examples of them. So what I have done is I have found out the logarithm of e raised to 3 which is obviously 3. Next we will see sine function. So as you can see I have nowhere declared the value of pi but it has already taken it to be 3.14 and given me the answer of this. The second category of functions is user defined functions. So the command that we need to use to define our own functions is inline. Let me show you how to write it. So the first argument to the inline function is a string containing the expression defining the function and the second argument is a string specifying the independent variable. So once you have defined this function if you want to evaluate it at some point you have to type this. So 21 is the value of this function and x is equal to 4. MATLAB functions can operate on vectors as well as scalars. To make an inline function that can act on vectors, we use the vectorize function. So now the function is vectorized. You can see that I have put a dot here, which means that you have to operate this square function on a vector x. If you want to evaluate this function for a certain vector, you have to write this. So now this function is evaluated for values starting from 1 to 5. So the first value is the value for x is equal to 1. The second one is for x is equal to 2. The third is for x is equal to 3, the fourth is for x is equal to 4, and the fifth value is for x is equal to 5. We can also define the inline function with two or more variables. To evaluate this function, we have to type this. So the answer is 5. So the arguments that we gave here 1 and 2 are passed to G where U is equal to 1 and V is equal to 2. So 1 square plus 2 square is equal to 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part we will see how to plot graphs in MATLAB. Till then goodbye and take care.